Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on and nearly finish exercise 3D of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 88 now and the question is number 8. It reads, a particle is fired at an angle theta to a horizontal plane with initial speed u. It has to clear a fixed wall which is 90 meters high and a distance 240 meters away from the point of firing. If sine theta is 3 fifths, find the minimum value of u to clear the wall. So what do we do first? We sketch the motion. So we draw our x and y axes, making our xy plane, or our Cartesian plane. We draw our initial velocity vector, u, which is equal to u sub x, i hat, plus u sub y, j hat. We draw our unit vectors. This time I'm going to go with these unit vectors here, like so. We draw our angle of projection theta and finally we draw a wall. Now we know the wall is 240 meters from the point of projection and the wall is 90 meters high like so. Alright so the gravity vector is the only thing I haven't put on this and we'll draw that over in the corner here. Now I know this diagram is looking quite busy but I'd hope that at this stage you're definitely, or not definitely, you, you will be able to understand this. So, what, what do we need to work out here? We need, the constraints that we need to use here is that when s sub x is equal to 140, that s sub y is greater than or equal to 90 meters. That's pretty straightforward. And this goes, I like this question as well because this is something real. If you want to kick a ball over a wall, well then you need to do this calculation in your head. You know, yeah, that's what you need, that's what you do. You decide how quick, how hard you need to hit the ball to give it the initial velocity vector, to give it its angle of inclination to hit, to clear the wall. So let's go ahead and do that. We don't need to write in all the, the values. So the first thing I'm going to write in is what s sub x is equal to. Is equal to ut plus a half at squared. So we get u times the cos of theta times t. Alright, so we're given that, uh, where are we given it here, that sine theta is equal to 3 fifths. So I'm just going to note this. Note this in the corner here. Sine theta is equal to 3 fifths. Just do a small bit of algebra and use Pythagoras theorem you'll find that's 4 there so cosine is 4 fifths alright and we know that the initial velocity was we're just given u is it yeah we're just given u so s sub x is equal to u times 4 over 5 times t alright so 4u times t over 5 next thing we're going to do is get s sub y Right, this is pretty straightforward again. So ut plus a half at squared. So u sine of theta t plus g over 2 t squared is equal to u times 3 over 5 for sine. Minus 4.9 t squared. All right, and they are they are two uh, two vectors s sub s uh, s sub x and s sub y, where we know of course the position vector s is equal to s sub x i hat plus s sub y j hat is equal to four u t over five i hat plus three u t over five minus four point nine t squared j hat. Oh, you couldn't see that there. I'm sorry about that. Now, that's the position vector S. So now all we need to do is plug in our constraints. So I'm just going to clear this up here. So the constraint was that when S sub X was equal to 240. So S sub X, 240. So we had 4 UT over 5 is equal to 240. Therefore, t is equal to 300 over u, like so. So when t is equal to 300 over u, 
we are after reaching the wall. So let's find out what S sub y is equal to. So we have 3 over 5 times u times t, which is 300 over u, minus 4.9 times 90. Uh, well, squared, I suppose, okay, so we have 90,000 over u squared like that. And that must be greater than 90 meters, greater than or equal to 90 meters. Okay, because we have to square, of course, at 300. All right, so the next thing we need to do is just solve that, solve that equation. So we have, uh, how do we solve this? We just need to, we have to solve out for u. So basically, if we just rearrange that, you're going to get the following 180 minus 441000 over u squared being greater or equal to 90 meters. And as a result, u squared is greater than or equal to 441,000 over 90. And therefore, u is greater than or equal to 70 meters per second. So let's just check that at the back of the book. So 3D, 3D question 8, 70 meters per second. And that is correct. So, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.